Hi there guys, Cormand here with iSkySoft Video Editor for Macintosh. Today we're going to be going through a basic how-to guide on just how to make some nice professional looking video. So first thing we want to do is open up the software. Just do this by uh, either just clicking on it in the dock or you can open Spotlight and type in iSkySoft Video Editor. I'll bounce a few times while it loads up and you'll be presented with this screen here. So you can either create a new widescreen movie in 16 to 9 aspect ratio or standard 4 to 3. Uh, I'd recommend widescreen as most cameras will be shooting in widescreen these days. So uh, we can also open recent projects too. So as I click on widescreen here, it defaults to the media view. If we just look down the left hand side here, there's, uh, what do we have, eight different boxes. The top one is media, where you can see sample videos, some sample colors too. Next up is music, where there's a significant amount of stock music there for you to use in your videos. Text or credits, again, a vast selection. We'll get to that later. Uh, filters that you can add on with a number of subcategories there. Some overlays like bokeh, light leaks, lens flares, some old film styles, cinema flares, and favorites. Some elements, which is things like this, as you can see here. I'm looking at this just by double clicking on them there. Okay, let's move on. Transitions, you can see what they'll look like, just again by double clicking to preview. And finally, some split screen, kind of cool little split screen there that you can do with photos or video. So first thing we're going to be doing today is importing some media. I have a selection of home footage here. Uh, I'm just gonna put this into full screen mode. It's a bit more real estate and just click this button here. Perfect. So I can do this a number of ways. I can either click the big import media button, I head to the desktop and import whatever I fancy there. I could also click on this button here, media import, and that allows me to do it from downloads, photos, movies, webcam, anything I really like. And if I just make that, you can also go file, import media, and use the shortcuts Apple One or Apple F, and that works too. Now what I'm gonna do here, uh, just select a couple of these and just drag and drop. Nice and simple. So I'm just gonna pick Pretty much at random. Put four videos in there. There we go. And let's go back to full screen. So I've got a selection of videos here from Holiday that uh, I went on in Indonesia. And there's a friend of mine swimming with some stingless jellyfish, a bit of underwater reef. Again, you double click just to uh, view those. beach and a small little photographic time lapse that I took as well. So what I'm going to do is you can either right click and go add to project and zoom in there using this slider. You can also click this double green arrow to zoom to the project that you have. Uh, for this next one, I'm just going to drag and drop it on. Drag and drop, and drag and drop. So this longer video is gonna be the focal point mainly of what I have here today. So I'm just gonna move that, can move that and put it in between other clips just by clicking and dragging. I can also trim the video, ripple trim it by clicking at the end, dragging through, and that's gonna automatically shorten it. As well as keeping everything nice and trim. Good. Okay, the next thing you can do, if I drag my playhead here, it's the playhead, select the video, I can split. You can also do that using tools split or tools split all. So I'm just gonna undo that, but now I have two video clips so I could take this, 
move it here, move it back there, however I fancy. I'll just undo with Apple Z. Perfect. So now I have the start of my video. I'm going to zoom to fit there, drag my playhead to the start. Great. So what I'm going to do next is just add in a title. I think I'll do music first. Okay, so let's go with orange and red. Pick it random. Perfect. So I just go to the end of the playhead. Let's drag that back to the start. End of the playhead here, move forwards, and I'm going to hit split on that music just to cut it off at the end, and just press my delete key there. Next, let's add in some titles. Uh, we can preview a couple. Mm, our wedding, nope. Scroll through. Okay, quite like this hand-drawn style that we've got here. So I'm going to take this happiness arrow, and if I double-click on it, we'll get an inspector, title inspector. Swimming with jellyfish. Perfect. Now I'm going to reduce the text size there. That's great. And perfect. Okay. So now if I press play, my title shows up and you can hear some music over the top there too. Next thing, it is a bit strange how the transition works here. So I'm going to click on my transitions and just drag and drop the transition in. Great. So if I play now, there we go. It renders in real time as well, which is rare for a video editing application. Uh, I will tell you. There we go. So there's a blind. I'm just going to use the same transition throughout just to give a little bit of consistency to my video here. As uh, if you look, most professionally done videos will only use one transition, maybe two, depending on the effect they're going for. Okay, so I'm going to finish this up with uh, one of my favorites, one of the light leaks here. So if we play that, you'll see how it's uh, emulating the effect of a camera light leak. As I drag that on, you see it creates a new effects layer, and it will drop it at the playhead. So, perfect. So I now have my light leaks. There we go. Just really nicely accents the titles that we've got there. We've got some music. Awesome. There we go. Now, I'm also going to add in a filter. Should I add a filter? Let's have a look. Lomography. Interesting. Let's check this one out. Cool, okay. I'm going to drag that and put it in. Hmm. Put it over the last clip here. And let's just bring that there. Okay, and I can and two. Right, so now I pretty much have my completed video. I'll hit play. And it does sometimes take a little while to buffer, but it mostly renders in real time. And there's my title. Bit of beach. I make Andre there swimming with some jellyfish. And another transition to. There we go. So what I should do here, just drag that to cover that transition. There we have the underwater footage there with the purple lomography filter on top. What I'm going to do now is save my project. Apple S saves it in a .isve format, proprietary. Swimming with jellyfish. Perfect. Then I'm going to hit export. Um, you can export for a bunch of different formats. You can export directly to YouTube, directly to Facebook, requiring a sign in uh, to DVD if you are lucky enough to have a DVD drive on your computer. But for now, I'm just going to go formats, swimming with jellyfish. 
position, video editor output, format, Apple Mov, and we'll do that at 1080p. I think I'll go 24 frames per second with that. It's more config here, uh, H.264 is perfect, Apple lossless for the audio, and that's going to be around 21 megabytes. So I'm just going to bump up that bit right there to 20,000 kilobits, so around 20 meg. There we go. Create, and that's going to then go progress. Okay, and when that's complete, it will play a nice little sound. And here we are on the output. If I double click that, it's going to open up in QuickTime. There's the completed video. Awesome. So that's the basics of how to edit and put together professional looking video with iSkySoft Video Editor for Macintosh. Join us for the next lesson. Thank you very much for watching. Why are you